diving headfirst into the world of bees. Get ready to join me on the ultimate quest as we journey to a real life beekeeper's paradise. We're gonna unlock the secrets of honey making and beekeeping like never before. But wait, that's not all. Get ready to put on your brave face because I'm strapping on a full on beekeeping suit and diving straight into the swarm. Are you feeling the buzz yet? Wait guys, do I really have to do this? Yeah! Welcome to Ryan's world. Welcome back everyone. Oh wait, um, you're probably wondering why I'm in this outfit. I'm here at the B2B Honey Collective with my friend Nicole, who is a bee expert. I have a beekeeping business where I teach people how to beekeep in their backyards. Whoa, that's so exciting. Nicole, can we go look at the bees? Of course we can. Are there any rules that we need to know about before we look at the bees? It's really important to behave correctly. Put our arms down. We want to move in slow motion, kind of like we're underwater. Nicole, exactly what are you doing right now? I am lighting the bee smoker. What does a bee smoker do? So the bee smoker will calm the bees down so we can go and look into their hive. It clouds their communication. It's gonna keep us safe and keep the bees nice and peaceful and calm. So the very first thing I do when I approach a hive is I smoke the entrance. It's kind of like knocking on the door, letting them know that we're here. That's a tall house. It is a tall house. The nest of the beehive is typically down here, and then everything above the nest is honey, and that's what we harvest. What tool are you using? This is called a hive tool. Very simple. It's kind of uh, like a crowbar. You break the seal on the hive. The bees make a substance called propolis. Oh. And it's kind of like glue. It makes everything really sticky. Oh, do y'all see that? Wow. So up here is honey. And they've been collecting nectar from flowers all spring. And this is what honey looks like from the hive. I see honey, I see beeswax, and of course, I see a lot of bees. Yeah. We're gonna get into the nest now. Nicole, what is a nest exactly? A nest is where the queen bee lays eggs and the nurse bees take care of the eggs and larvae. Oh. This is a brand new box I just put on here, so I'm happy to see that they're filling it up. Whoa. It's springtime here, and so they've been very busy. How long does it take for an entire box to be filled with honey? It all depends on the weather and the season. So if it's really rainy and wet outside, it takes a little bit longer. You can see here that this honey is still nectar. So what's the difference between honey and nectar? The difference between honey and nectar is moisture content. So it's how wet it is. So as the bees dry the nectar out, it becomes honey. So all of this is not ready yet. It doesn't have a beeswax on the top. This should be capped uh, with beeswax in the next couple of weeks. Nicole, a little bee told me that because honey has very low moisture content and antibacterial content, that it can't really expire. Is that true? That is true. Honey is the only food that does not expire. Wow. Nicole, why does a bee have yellow socks on? That is a forager bee that's come back to the hive with pollen on the backs of her legs. Oh, wow. It's like as if the bee went to the grocery store and it just came back. That's right. And so the other bees will help her take that pollen off and put it in the hive. Right now, Nicole is on a quest to find the queen bee. It's a very intriguing adventure. Where will she be? That is the question we want to know. So there's a cage here where I had installed a new queen. I'm overwhelmed by how many bees there are. Exactly how many bees are there? 50,000 bees in this box. Whoa, <laughs> 50,000. 
Nicole, did this queen give birth to all these bees? She didn't. There was another queen in here last week. I split the hive and moved her to a new hive. So their mom has left and I installed a new queen. Why did you have to put the queen in a box? Because it isn't the original queen, I allowed her to take the time she needed to have the bees get used to her scent. Does every female bee become a queen bee at some point? No, a queen bee can be made from any female egg, but that egg is fed a special diet of royal jelly. Very fancy. You know what time it is? It's time for a montage of bee rolls. Uh, no pun intended. Nicole, can you describe the lifespan of a bee? Yeah, so the bee's life begins when the queen lays an egg. After three days, the egg hatches and the bee becomes a larva. On day nine, the bee becomes a pupa and then on day 21, she will emerge as an adult. Her life is about six weeks in the spring and the summer, 42 days. We have a couple of bees emerging right here. That is a worker bee being born. She's chewing the beeswax. Whoa. Sometimes it goes really quickly, sometimes it doesn't. Look at her chew. Keep chewing. You can do it. Nicole, do bees have natural predators? They do. Things like bears and skunks and raccoons and lizards and birds, they all eat bees. So how do the bees protect themselves from these predators? Because the colony of bees is a super organism, they work together to fend off predators. Kind of like an ant colony, right? Yeah, there are only three types of super organisms. We got ants, termites, and honeybees. Nicole, what can we do to help out the bees? There are a lot of ways you can help the bees. Of course, planting flowers, very important. Not using chemicals on your plants. One of the most important things you can do is leave out water for the bees to drink. Especially in the summertime, they need a lot of water. They use it to cool down the hive. Nicole, I read somewhere that bees aren't great swimmers. Is that true? They are not great swimmers. They will go and swim in a circle until they find the edge of, say, a pool or a pond. So it's great to put rocks or sticks in a water source so they can land on it. Wow. Thank you so much, Nicole. This was so, so fun. I hope y'all learned something about the importance of bees and how to help out their community. I'm going to sign off and take off this bee outfit. But until next time, stay curious. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time. Bye. I'm overwhelmed. I've never been close to this many bees before. You okay, dude? My mic's coming off. Okay, I was just concerned. Shh, don't tell the bees. There's no reason to be scared, which I think it's a hard thing for Dr. Ion. Holding back. <laughs> you scared? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> we're standing a little far because we're a little ready? bit. Yeah. Yes, I'm ready. Wow! Wow! Hello, honey. Wow! I'm surprised they don't get upset. Brian and Daddy are just throwing balls at each other. Let's block my balls. Oh yeah! <laughs> Whoa, he's good. Whoa! Triple balls. <laughs> That's good dodge. I'll let you guys play and please clean up when you're done, okay? Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. And Ryan. Mommy and Daddy won't be here tomorrow, so you're gonna be a good boy, right? Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna be a good boy because Grandma, both of them, are coming over to take care of you. We are going out of town tomorrow. Are you excited, Daddy? Uh -huh. Are you excited about tomorrow? Oh, yeah. We're excited, but of course, I'm gonna miss Ryan. It's about too. a lot of working stuff. It's a lot of <laughs> working stuff. And talking stuff. That's right. I sit there three hours. All right, so you guys finished playing? <laughs> you should have used all the balls. I <laughs> used too much ball, so you have to put it away. Yeah, Ryan's like super tired. He's drinking some water there while he's cleaning up. All right, I'll help you guys, and we will see you manana. Morning, everybody. So it is five in the morning, and guess who's up at five in the morning? 
You okay? You know mommy and daddy's gonna be gone, so you're gonna miss me? No, just, it just happened. Just so happened? Well, I'm gonna miss you very much. <laughs> you gonna go back to bed? I'll try. You'll try? I'm gonna finish packing and meet you guys at the airport. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Miss you? All right, see you guys at the airport for real this time. Bye. Bye. Okay, so we're finally at the airport. How do you feel? Tired. Tired. It's early in the morning to go. I know, it's so early. So let's go to the airplane. I'm boarding the plane. So we're gonna fly and then we'll see you when we land, okay? Bye. We arrived, let's go. Are you ready? I'm ready. Oh my, we still have like two hours of drive. We're not there yet. Wow, so this is the Oakland Airport. Whoa, look outside. You can see water right away. All right, see you guys at the hotel. So we're here at the hotel. <laughs> Ryan's daddy's checking in. So we got here, except our room is not ready. So we're just gonna have lunch because I was super hungry. Yeah, it's a little bit hot outside. Yeah, so there is a pool right next to us, except nobody's there because it's like super, super sunny right now. Hey guys, our food is here. We got salmon with a little salad. Oh yeah, look at yours, it looks good. Some fish tacos, yeah. some chips. Are you excited? Yeah, it's ceviche. Yay, all right, I'll let you take the first bite. Good. Yeah. So good. <laughs> oh. I think I'm being greedy, so I'm trying to put everything <laughs> trying on. Trying to get it all in there. It's not flat, so I'll keep going. <laughs> good? Mm. <laughs> I want to try. Mm. Okay, we're going to our room. 11.30 till about. Riley at the hotel room. Are you excited? So yeah. Two so there's two separate rooms. That's so crazy. You can like even sit outside here and want and um, enjoy the fireplace, but it's too hot right now to enjoy the fireplace outside. Whoa, it's kind of like a cozy little living room area. You can enjoy and watch TV. And if you guys notice, this is why we're here, you guys. It says happy anniversary. Yay, happy anniversary. Yes, this is actually the first time ever since Ryan's born that we are out together on a trip that is not work related. No work. Yay, only for fun. Just <laughs> Let's go check out the other side here. Okay, sorry, I got too excited. Yeah, I'm so excited too. So thank you, grandmas, for taking care of Ryan and the twins for four days for us so we can enjoy our anniversary. So I really appreciate it because it's like the first anniversary that we get to enjoy just the two Ouch. of us. Yeah. You okay? Yeah. Here's the bedroom. Hey. Are you ready I'm for a nap? Asleep. <laughs> so that's the bed. Here's TV. Here is the bathtub. And here is a mirror. And there's actually a little shower area outside. So apparently you can take a shower out in the open if you like. See? All right, guys, we are gonna just relax and see you in a bit. Bye. So we're outside. Whoa. These are apples. Oh, oh cool. I thought it was like a lime or something first. Yeah, it does look like lime. Oh, wow. Grapes. Bee friendly garden. Oh, oh lime. Funny. Look, this one. How did it get there? Uh, <laughs> tell me stuff. Oh, plant their own garden here. Wow. Oh, oh no, that's no, a no, bee. Oh, no. <laughs> there's so many. Now we're gonna go see some bees. Oh no, I'm nervous. I'm nervous too. Do you guys see some bees over there? I'm gonna stay here. <laughs> it's coming. Wish me luck. <laughs> this hotel we're staying at, they have a tour for bees, so that's why we're here. Oh. Oh. I think a lot of them flying around me. You scared? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> we're standing a little far because we're a little ready? bit. Yeah. Yes, I'm ready. Wow! 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 I'm surprised they don't get upset taking it out. No, this one here is only. Oh yeah, just oh, a tiny whoa, bit. Oh yeah. yeah. You see another queen cell? Kids start feeling it. Right now it's very struggled because we don't have that much flowers. You hear it? Yeah, I hear it buzzing. 
<laughs> they grow their own food here at this place, so everything is organic, he says. Nice. Look. Now here's the fun part, we actually get to taste the honey. Dessert time. Dessert. <laughs> here's some chickens. Cool. You can count and... <laughs> oh, <I'm sorry. laughs> okay, you can take a feature. Oh, wow. Oh, there's our little oh. eggs too. Greenhouse. Oh. It's like a tropical flower. Yeah. yeah. Right here. We oh wow! This is like a garden filled with different oh, nice. vegetables Beautiful. and plants. Very cool. You guys know any of these plants? <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! This is the honey. This is the, this honey. Is the honey I harvest like a, the, like a thirty minutes ago. All right, you try it oh, first. Okay. <laughs> Mmm. Very good. Good. Mm. Try this one. Mm. Yes, mommy's trying. Cheese, honey, and tomato. What do you think? You can see all the flavors all together. Oh, yeah, it's really, really good. You should try it. Yeah? Mm hmm. Wow. Cucumber oh. with cheese and honey and crab. Like it? Mm hmm. That was our first bee experience. What'd you guys think? What did you think? It was a little bit scary, but it was fun. The, the, the honey was so good. The honey was really good. It was our first time eating that type of raw honey, and one bee like got on my arm, and I was like, ah! It was really scary. You didn't get stung. So yeah, so yeah, we got lucked out. All right, so we're finally back at our hotel. Uh, it's hot out here, huh? Yeah. Super hot. Uh, all right, so we're back. It's super, super hot. We're just gonna relax and maybe watch something until dinner time. So, uh, see you guys later. So now it's time for dinner, except we have to walk really, really far. Not only far, but it's also, it's a steep hill. Yeah, it's like going up, look. You see? Uh, yeah, we finally made it. There it is. You see it? the restaurant? And now we're gonna look at the menu and decide what to eat. You hungry? Yeah. So outside is looks pretty, but it's still too hot. So, oh, yeah. right. Still staying with an AC. <laughs> so this is what we got for appetizer. Whoa. Ooh, truffle, the real one. Real truffle. <laughs> All these stuff is too fancy for us. We don't know how to eat it right. Is that right? <laughs> is it good? Yes. What do you think? It's really good. Yeah. Okay. Our second appetizer came. It is pork belly. That looks super good. And it says local pork. Wow. Look at this. Wow. Wow, thank you. Of course. And I got scallop. Mm. Is it good? Is it delicious? Yes. <laughs> so we had to, to go our main course because we we're already full. Yeah, that was a big appetizer. But we couldn't really to go this because it's ice cream, so we're gonna eat it. Because you wanna eat ice cream fresh, right? Yes. Wow. Some sort of peach cobbler ice cream. Okay, you're gonna mix everything because it's a symphony in your mouth. Oh. Whoa. Good. Oh yeah. 